All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're going to pretty much continue right where we left off. Sorry oh. about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Oh my god. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. That's fair. Honestly. I'm actually married. <laughs> but you're here. Everything's fine. It's not your business. She's sick and I shouldn't be here. She's sick and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. <laughs> that didn't get awkward at all. Okay. What is this? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. That is weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well... I kind of doubt it. been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Can I look at the code? 18 U.S. Code 1863. Huh, I wonder, I wonder what that is. You know what, hang on. I'm, I'm, not I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of this so I can... I'm gonna Google this uh, U.S. Code. And out of curiosity, I'll look at that later. Anyways, all right, let's go. All right, boys. Once again, if anything interesting happens, then I will. What the hell? Oh, that's straight up, like keeping me from that area. Well, if anything else interesting happens, I will let you guys know. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really <laughs> don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. <laughs> so stupid. It's cool. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Fuck. We didn't get it. Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. <laughs> Honestly, this, that's kind of why I, I like Delilah. She seems to... It, she, to me, she comes across as uh, someone who's got her, their own issues to deal with, and so they kind of understand. 
remember one of the first things she said when we got here was, uh, the only reason why you come here is to run from your own problems. So everyone's got problems. And I can only assume that she does too. Oh, shit, wrong, or I hit the wrong button. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> okay, so that that's actually pretty cool. Um, uh, I think I want to go that way though. So we can go through the lake. I think that's I think that's the way we want to go. So let's go that way. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. That's see, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright boys, let's go. And uh As per usual. Anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. Freaking wrong button. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, well, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. Come on, come on, almost out of time. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There what? Is that something that actually happened? Park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? Yeah, no kidding. So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. Oh my it's god. Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Jesus. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll, uh, they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about uh, what went down in Wap Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. Probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and profession Professionalis is Italian. <laughs> what? Okay. The Fourth Estate. That's not creepy at all. Richard Sturgeon. Man, both of these guys are fans of this Richard Sturgeon guy. I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make huh. that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Okay, yeah, that's a little weird. Map information. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, good updates. 
Good updates. Alrighty, boys. Let's go. See if we can continue to circle around and find our path. Okay, apparently not. So wait, so where the hell do I go then? Alright, well, I'll, I'll see you guys when we when we get to our destination or when something happens. The fire wraps up? Never mind. Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder. You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister Susan is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Yeah. Perfectly understandable. I feel like it's some... I feel like he, uh... His mentality is, is like, uh, that he doesn't want to mess with it, but that he knows better. That he should, but he doesn't want to. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> oh. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's... Uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? What? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? That's actually also, really cool. Uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. All right, so this is the stream. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Huh. That does look weird. What's funny is that I remember she said that we wanted to mess with them a little bit by, like, um, destroying the camp. So I was sitting there thinking, like... We ought to, like, rip it to shreds. Like, just, like, the tent or something. And throw their shit everywhere. Like a freaking, um, bear got to it or something. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Stomp that shit out. Okay. My sheets. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks Those like fuckers. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. <laughs> dangerous hunks? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What? On Earth, are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is Can some dedication. It? Can I take it? Damn, I can't take it. 
Okay, so that's the tent, it looks like. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. I don't think it's gonna matter. It looks like their shit got all kinds of shredded. Dear Psycho. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got I, that camera, probably right? a bear. It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, that actually is a smart idea. Take a couple. You know what? Freaking stolen sheets. And then just uh. Okay, I was gonna say a beauty f beauty shop for good measure, but uh, there's really not one. Okay, all right. Let's look at the note. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you? Wait. Okay, I'm so glad I did that because as soon as I saw the border, I was like, oh shit. Okay, they're that. That's the end of the day. I think. All right, so dear psycho. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us up, creeped on us in the lake. <coughs> And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Wait, stealing panties? Wait, so maybe it wasn't them that did the fucking power line. Because remember, there was a pair of panties that were at the power line. So, huh. And... Obviously, they didn't leave the panties around, and I didn't steal them. So, I think they may have just literally gotten framed for the freaking, at least for the power line, the the phone line. But it looks like something did shred their crap, and I'm wondering if it was a bear. Tell. Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're calling the police. They think I attacked them. It's just uh, it's an apology for all the trouble. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god! Well, uh, did you? No, but I destroyed their stereo. I just stole their booze. I didn't do anything to them. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something <coughs> went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. Fuck. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. No yeah, shit. Too. Oh, okay, cool. So I didn't have to make it back to the freaking tower. Anyways... I'm going to go and end it right here for tonight. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.